All right. By now, you should have all your vertical horizontal lines and the cross, the center lines of your diameters on your part. I know mine doesn't have it, but yours will, and I just have enough to give you a demonstration for the next stage. So, before we get to actually working on the real part, you need to go and find a scrap piece, and there are lots of scrap pieces, blew it up, make a bunch of vertical and horizontal lines to it, because I want you to practice on this part first, on this part first, before you do the real one, because if, you, if you're not good at it, you're gonna mess up your real part. So don't do that. Get a scrap piece, do vertical horizontal lines, and your goal is to practice making hole punches and then uh, scribing the circles. So here I have a cross section, which represents my centers, and I wanna put a, a punch there, a hole, or a dent. The dent is so that this tool here, when you put it in the dent, will hold the center and you can spin it around and it'll make a good diameter. Okay, so a couple of things here. First, get the center punch right. And then two is you think it's easy to get the diameter correct on here and then put it on your part. It's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the center holes right. Then we're going to set the diameter using calipers. And then we're going to actually spin that diameter, and that's two things. It's going to give you practice on actually scribing, but then we're actually going to verify the size of the diameter using our calipers before we go to the real part. So let's just go through the process. Here's my cross hair, my cross hashes for my circle, as an example. I roll over about halfway. I tip up. I make sure I'm lined up this way. Verify, check, and it's just straight down. It has a spring action. It's an auto punch, and you're looking. To inspect your center punch is within that plus or minus 15 thousandths of being in the center. And I know I am. I can see it. So I've got a center for this to travel. Next, I want to describe the diameter properly. And what I want is a diameter of a half inch. However, this will scribe, as you can tell, it'll scribe the radius. So what I need is half of the diameter. So I need the radius. And um, I'm going to use this tool to give me an estimate. It's the calipers. I'm going to go, of course, using this properly, you clean the, the jaws, close the jaws gently, make sure it goes back to zero, and then come back to your two, whatever the radius is. In this case, mine's 250. So I'm at 200 plus 50, and I'm going to go ahead and lock this. And I'm going to estimate this on my tool. I'm going to hang it here. There are different techniques you can use to do this. You can use gauge blocks. Okay, and there, I'll show you different techniques, but I'm using calipers just as to get me an estimate. I, I could use um, gauge blocks that are a quarter inch, and I could slide it in here, and as long as the tips are the extremes, then that would be the quarter inch. So there are different techniques to do this. So I've got my radius. I've got my center punch. I'm going to put one in, one leg on, and I'm going to lean it uh, gently, and I'm going to scribe. Believe me, it takes technique. That's why you're practicing on junk first before you get to your part. Boy, there's some serious blooming on this. I have to put some some pressure here. Now that I've got my diameter scribe, I'm simply going to loosen up my set screw and then measure the diameter. And this is not the most precise technique. But I do have a tolerance of plus or minus 15,000, so that's plenty. And you'll see that I am actually large, large, that you know, I, need a, I need a half of an inch, and I'm at actually about 45 thousandths high. So I've got to make this much smaller. So I'm going to go back to my quarter. I'm going to take a little off there. Again, this isn't a super great technique. I have other techniques, which I'll show you shortly. All right. So now when I measure my now smaller diameter, oh yeah. So we'll, I have a videos on calipers, but you'll see I see the half, and I see that I'm just a thousandth past the half-inch diameter. 
So this radius is set properly. And I've had a chance to practice my technique for scribing. So now I'm ready to go to my real part. So I leave this alone. Here's my punch. Here's my centers. I come over. I come up and I make sure I'm centered. Whoops, I lost my spot there. And I... Ah. <laughs> there it goes. So now I've got a center punched. And I've got my radius. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to lock one leg on. And I'm going to scribe this other one. And for kicks and giggles, I'm going to remeasure this to make sure. Of course, it's too late. It's on there now, as they say. But it's, it's beautiful. That's a half inch. So that's how you'll describe your diameters.